Joining us now with some thoughts on how we can do better and pick better fighters is Congressman Warren Davidson of Ohio's 8th District. Congressman, your thoughts on what happened last night? Uh, look, I really enjoyed the fact that we have finally had a debate. It's one of the rare public sightings of Kamala Harris. Uh, but of course, she didn't just have the arena uh, rig. She had the refs on her side. You know, we expected that going in, given that it was ABC and the controlled media hosting. Uh, but I thought Donald Trump uh, made his case. He pointed out great facts uh, that, you know, the Biden-Harris regime is, is destroying our economy. They're doing it on purpose. They knew these policies would have the effect. And they, they had the audacity to call something they knew would cause more inflation, the Inflation Reduction Act. And now privately, Joe Biden, uh, his, what he said privately before, now he's saying publicly that it really was the Green New Deal, and that's what they should have named it. So uh, that's the economy and national security. You know, what a, what a terrible uh, result. They've evacuated 11 embassies under this uh, administration. Uh, everyone around the world sees weakness, and they see, you know, the Biden-Harris administration pushing everything but uh, America's policy. So I think Donald Trump highlighted that. Would love to see him win over some extra fans. I don't know if he won over people that weren't already Trump fans. Uh, but I hope that they do take another debate and Trump can continue to win over the American people. Well, I hope the American people remember, and you know, for those of us who were around at 9-11, I know I recognize, not all of us were, but I mean, I remember it. And I know you do. The, the impact of that day has led to a chain of events that have forever changed our way of life day to day. And I would just hope that people who remember the ramifications and the scale of the dangers that faced us before 9-11 and during it uh, realize that in the hands of Kamala Harris, do we really want the next, God forbid, 9-11 to happen on her watch? Well, the idea of Kamala Harris as commander in chief is going gonna, is gonna to continue to chill recruitment. Uh, you know, we're, we're suffering right now from a lack of focus in foreign policy and a terrible uh, leadership in the Biden-Harris administration. So if they continue that, we're gonna continue to be distracted. We're gonna continue to have funding problems uh, because the money that we do send gets misallocated. So uh, the focus just isn't there. And the American people are seeing that. They're not being inspired to serve. You know, the, the, the recruitment is down. So uh, you remember post 9-11, people couldn't wait to go do things to defend our country because we felt the United States and our values were under attack. Um, and so a lot of people have forgotten that, Most, first and foremost, the administration. And they're not inspiring the next generation to uh, defend this country. In fact, going back to the 1609 project and so many other things that are designed to tear down our country and divide us, you know, those are the kind of agenda items that they're trying to push into uh, our, our troops through sensitivity training and everything else, instead of letting them focus on being able to fight and win wars. Uh, everyone knows that uh, Trump, uh, the Trump administration would have never uh, left Afghanistan the way the Biden-Harris administration did. And I thought Donald Trump did a nice job of doing that. I really appreciated that uh, Secretary of State Pompeo highlighted the facts on that on, on Twitter slash X as well, uh, saying here's what actually happened. And so, you know, I, I hope the American people are smart enough to see through that and that it really does matter because, look, uh, our politics and our system – follow the culture. So if the culture really says, you know, we don't really care about that. We care who Taylor Swift picks. And, you know, she's made a living singing songs about all of her bad decisions. Uh, the latest is apparently her support for Kamala Harris. You know, no surprise, but uh, hopefully the culture says, you know what, we're going to do the things that put our country first. We do remember not just 9-11, but we remember what uh, the economy was like just uh, the previous administration. We remember what national security was like the previous administration. We remember the kind of focus on accountability that was there. I thought Donald Trump did a great job of, show, of highlighting, yeah, he did fire some people because they didn't do a good job. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.